Hi everyone, welcome to my quick review of Simpsons Trias of Horror 10. This is a quick review because I have to do two game reviews today on top of another review that I need to do for the other channel. So, I decided to just do it right here from my bed instead of going on the desk for today. But um, what you guys need to know is that this is probably the best segment of Trias of Horror ever. Like, better than 3, better than 4, better than 5. Better than all of them. Trias of Horror 10 is probably my new all-time favorite Halloween episode. It is amazing. It's incredible. So it starts with a little interlude with King and Kodos. Simple, but funny. Then it goes straight into the first segment, I Know What You Did, Italy, Italy Did, which is a parody of I Know What You Did Last Summer. And Marge runs over Flanders, and they think he's dead. And then, of course, the Simpson family tries to hide it, tries not to act guilty. There's some funny gags here and there, like Homer accidentally almost calling out Marge on his funeral <laughs> during Ned's funeral, which is pretty funny. And then later on in the episode, they get chased by a guy who looks like the fisherman from the I Know What You Did Last Summer movies. And it turns out it's Ned. And he's like, well, you can't kill the undead. And it turns out he's a werewolf. And he, and he chases everyone, and the episode ends with him mauling Homer to death. Pretty simple segment. Then the second one... I forget its name, but it's pretty good. It's an episode about... Um, Nelson messing up some kind of machine... And the radiation hits Bart and Lisa, and they turn to superheroes. And then comic book guy kidnaps the actress who plays Xena in the movie. Well, in the, in the world of the show, in that show, you know what I mean. And he tries to make her his bride. And then the kids come around, they end up getting defeated because of incompetence. And then Xena... Takes out comic book guy. Bished. Death. Ever. <laughs> and then... The ending's kind of just eh. It's a very... It's a good segment. It's not a great segment. And then the last one. Life's a glitch, then you die. Y2K strikes. And it's a pretty simple one. Lisa, Maggie, and Marge go on a rocket ship to Mars to start a new civilization. While Homer and Bart end up on a rocket ship to the sun with a bunch of celebrities in a kamikaze mission. And once Homer sees Rosie O'Donnell, he's like, uh, It's not enough! Must die faster! And then he hits an eject button, and then both he and Bart's heads explode while they when the, while the end credits play. This is just a great episode all around, man. It's amazing. It's quick. It's funny. It's entertaining all the way through. And it has just enough horror to make it worth watching. My final verdict for this is my first ever 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for number 10. <laughs> yeah, what are the odds, huh? But seriously, check this one out. It is a great homage to those to the past 10 shorts, even the ones that I wasn't a big fan of, like 2 and 7. And it's just a really... It's just, it's an amazing Trias of Horror, guys. Seriously. Watch this one if you haven't already. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later today for my review of Nightmare Before Christmas, Oogie's Revenge for the Xbox. So, until then, I'm Jack Small of Enemy Station. I'll see you guys next time. Seriously, check this episode out if you haven't, guys. It's really damn good.